Shemuel Shani to Samuel 15. And it came to pass after this that Av Shalom prepared him chariots and horses and fifty men to run before him. And Av Shalom rose up early and stood beside the way of the gate. And it was so that when any man that had a controversy came to the king for judgment, then Av Shalom called unto him and said, Of what city are you? And he said, Your servant is of one of the tribes of Yashara'el. And Av Shalom said unto him, See, your matters are good and right, but there is no man deputed of the king to hear you. Av Shalom said moreover, O oh, that I were made judge in the land, that every man which has any suit or cause might come unto me, and I would do him justice. And it was so that when any man came nigh to him to do him obeisance, he put forth at his hand and took him and kissed him. And on this manner did Av Shalom to all Yasharael that came to the king for judgment. So... Avshalom stole at the hearts of the men of Yashara'el. And it came to pass after forty years that Avshalom said unto the king, I pray you, let me go and pay at my vow, which I have vowed unto Yahuwah in Hebron. For your servant vowed a vow while I abode at Gershur, rather Geshur in Aram, saying, if Yahuwah shall bring me again indeed to Yerushalayim, then I will serve at Yahuwah. And the king said unto him, Go in peace. So he arose and went to Hebron. But Avshalom sent spies throughout all the tribes of Yashara'el, saying, As soon as ye hath hear the sound of the shofar, then ye shall say, Avshalom reigns in Hebron. And with Eth Avshalom went two hundred men out of Yerushalayim that were called, and they went in their simplicity, and they knew not anything. And Avshalom sent for Eth Achit Ophel the Giloni, David's counselor, from his city, even from Gilho, while he offered at the sacrifices. And the conspiracy was strong, for the people increased continually with Eth Av Shalom. And there came a messenger to El David, saying, The hearts of the men of Yashadael are after Av Shalom. And David said unto all his servants that were with him at Yerushalayim, Arise and let us flee, for we shall not else escape from Avshalom. Make speed to depart, lest he overtake us suddenly, and bring eth this evil upon us, and smite the city with the edge of the sword. And the king's servants said unto the king, Behold, your servants are ready to do whatsoever my lord the king shall appoint. And the king went forth, and all his household after him. And the king left Eth ten women, which were concubines, to keep the house. And the king went forth, and all the people after him, and tarried in a place that was far off. And all his servants passed on beside him. And all the Karathim, and all the Pelathim, and all the Gitim, six hundred men which came after him from Gath, passed on before the king. Then said the king to Atai the Giti, Wherefore go you also with us? Return to your place, and abide with the king, for you are a stranger, and also an exile. Whereas you came but yesterday, should I this day make you go up and down with us? Seeing I go whither I may, return you and take back F your brethren. 
mercy, and truth be with you. And Ittai answered at the king and said, As Yahuwah lives, and as my lord the king lives, surely in what place my lord the king shall be, whether in death or life, even there also will your servant be. And David said to Atai, Go and pass over. And Atai the Giti passed over, and all his men, and all the little ones that were with him. And all the country wept with a loud voice, and all the people passed over. The king also himself passed over the brook Kidron, and all the people passed over toward the way of Eth the wilderness. And lo, Sadoch also, and all the Leviim were with him, bearing Eth the Ark of the Covenant of Elohim. And they set down Eth the Ark of Elohim. And Aviathar went up until all the people had done passing out of the city. And the king said unto Sadach, Carry back at the ark of Elohim into the city. If I shall find favor in the eyes of Yahuwah, he will bring me again and show me both and at his habitation. But if he thus say, I have no delight in you, behold, here am I, let him do to me as seems good unto him. The king said also unto Sedach, the priest, Are not you a seer? Return into the city in peace, and your two sons with you, Ahi Ma'atz, your son, and Yahu Nathan, the son of Avathar. See, I will tarry in the plain of the wilderness until there come word from you to certify me. Sedoch, therefore, and Aviathar carried at the ark of Elohim again to Yerushalayim, and they tarried there. And David went up by the ascent of Mount Olivet, and wept as he went up, and had his head covered, and he went barefoot. And all the people that was with him covered every man his head. And they went up, weeping as they went up. And one told David, saying, Achi Thophel is among the conspirators with Avshalom. And David said, O Yahuwah, I pray you, turneth the counsel of Achitophel into foolishness. And it came to pass that when David was come to the top of the mount where he worshipped Elohim, behold, Hushai the Archi came to meet him with his coat rent and earth upon his head. Unto whom David said, If you pass on with me, then you shall be a burden unto me. But... If you return to the city and say unto Avshalom, I will be your servant, O king, as I have been your father's servant hitherto, so will I now also, rather now also be your servant. Then may you for me defeat Eth the council of Aki Thophel. And have you not there with you Sedach and Avathar, the priests? Therefore it shall be that what the thing, rather, what thing soever you shall hear out of the king's house, you shall tell it to Sedoch and Avathar, the priests. Behold, they have there with them their two sons, Achimaatz, Sadok's sons, rather, son, and Yahunathan, Aviathar's son. And by them ye shall send unto me everything that ye can hear. 
So Hushai, David's friend, came into the city, and Avshalom came into Yarushalayim.